Today we're going to make a dish that many of you may not have tasted before because it's made with bear meat. And let me give you a little background. Um, I was lucky enough to get this meat from my nephew. He, a year ago, had won the lottery. Because here in Michigan what happens is you get one participation point each year and it's lottery so the more points you have, the more chances you are getting picked. And generally, where he hunts, you need about 14 points. So, 14 years until you can go bear hunting. So, it is a big deal. Now, he was lucky enough to get a bear. Um, it weighed 450 pounds after being gutted. And let me show you a picture of it on his wall. And that meant that uh, bear was probably over 500 pounds when it was walking around the woods. Now, black bears are all over Michigan. They do cause some problems with garbage and things like that, but generally they are not a threat to people. But many hunters think, oh, I'd never eat bear meat. Even though they've never tried it, they say, oh, it's too gamey. It's too greasy. It's too tough. Well, it could be too tough if it's too old of a bear or the way you've prepared it. And as for its taste, a lot of people think it tastes like a sweet venison, um, but it does depend on what the bear is eating. If the bear was in an area where it's eating salmon all the time, it might have a little bit of a fishy taste to it. Now, one thing when you're cooking bear, you want to make sure you get it done. You don't have rare or medium rare bear meat. You want to get it up to 160 degrees internal temperature and the reason is it can have a parasite, that same parasite like that pigs have that can cause trichinosis, whatever, very bad for you, can kill you. So you want to make sure always to thoroughly cook your bear meat. And the best way to cook it is to slow cook it. And that's what we're going to do today. I've got my cut up potatoes, you can go potatoes, and then I'm just going to put my carrots on top. Break that one up a little. Now for our bear meat. Almost looks like liver, doesn't it? Very dark, rich color. And then I'm going to squeeze just a little just tomato paste. I always think it makes beef, pork, or bear taste a little better. And then we're just using a little garlic paste. Okay. And now for the ultimate cheat. I am just using a packet of McCormick Slow Cooker Savory Pot Roast. Mix it up here. Mix it up in one cup of hot water. Oh, we got all of it disintegrated. There we go. And that's it. We're going to put the top on. Get it on low for eight hours. Doesn't it look great? I just added a little salt and pepper. Now it's time to dish it up and do our taste test. Just giving you a close-up on how good it looks. So here, oh this is hot yet. We have carrot, potato, and bear meat. Let's go. Absolutely delicious. You would not know it was bear meat unless I told you you'd be thinking you were eating beef stew. So let's get just a little piece of the meat. Mm. Melts right in your mouth. It is so good. Is it gamey? No. Is it greasy? No. Does it have a funny taste? 
No, it doesn't. It's just really, really good. So if you ever get the chance to try bear, I urge you to do it. Just slow cook it and you'll have a great meal that will surprise your family. But remember, always when trying something new, don't tell them it has bear meat. Just tell them you made a stew. They're all going to eat it and say, boy, this was really good. And then you go, do you know you were eating bear? And the look on their face is always priceless. <laughs> anyway, this is Prepper Potpourri saying, enjoy the outdoors. As always, please subscribe and share the knowledge. Thank you.